Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video explaining a little bit more in depth about why certain games that use particular anti-cheat software are incompatible with the Steam Deck, where you see other games that seemingly use the same anti-cheat software being compatible on the Steam Deck. So what's up with that? Why aren't all of these games compatible on the Steam Deck or why aren't they all not compatible on the Steam Deck? So that's what this video is gonna explain to everybody and hopefully shed a little bit of light on how close some of these games are to being compatible on the Steam Deck. Okay, so if you go on ProtonDB, it's a really good resource to show you what games work on the Steam Deck and what games need tinkering or what games just don't work at all. So one example of a game that notoriously did not work because of easy anti-cheat is Fall Guys, and now it works, right? Here are people on the Steam Deck running this game and it's working fine with easy anti-cheat. But if you go to another popular game, Lost Ark, this also uses easy anti-cheat, but it's borked. So what exactly is happening? If they both use easy anti-cheat, why does Fall Guys work, but Lost Ark doesn't work? And if you scroll down to some of these, they're doing something very weird, right? They're taking this file and they're putting it into the game directory, hoping that that'll fix easy anti-cheat and allow it to work on the Steam Deck and it's not working. So why is that? Why doesn't Fall Guys need you to do that? Um, and what other games are in the same situation? So some of you might be familiar with this particular case because it was actually in a lot of news headlines when it first came out. But this is the developer of Warhammer Vermintide 2 that uses easy anti-cheat. And when the Steam Deck was announced and it started coming out, the word to developers was how easy it was to just implement the Linux version of anti-cheat, speci specifically easy anti-cheat, into your game and it'll just work out of the box with a couple clicks. So this developer said, actually, that's not the case. There are two versions of easy anti-cheat. There is one that uses the Epic Online Store login credentialed information, and there's one that's sort of standalone, and that's the older version, and many, many games, the majority of games using Easy Anti-Cheat, they're using this standalone version that does not interface with the Epic Online Store. Epic, the creators of Fortnite, they are the ones that also own Easy Anti-Cheat. It's another one of their products that they sell. So this guy's coming out and he's saying, hey, I'm a developer, it's really not that easy. You have to change a lot of things with the game and recompile it to get uh, Linux easy anti-cheat to work. We have to upgrade to the Epic Online Store version and he's also claiming that that might mean that every single player of their game has to also log into the Epic Store. Don't worry, that's not the case. So uh, a couple articles just a few weeks after that are saying, with the work of Valve and Epic working together, which is weird because they're competitors, they made it a lot more simple for games like Warhammer Vermintide 2 to implement easy anti-cheat, even if you have the standalone version. So as a software developer myself, the very first thing you want to look at when you try to do something like this is the official documentation. So Valve, helpfully enough, they added official documentation with links to exactly what to do for easy anti-cheat and they make it seem pretty simple. So uh, this right here, I'll zoom in, this is going to be the key issue that uh, is holding games like Lost Ark back, Ark back and it's going to be very mysterious at the end why they don't, just don't finish the setup with this. So the first thing you need to know is uh, you have to take this anti-cheat file right here and add it to your published version of the game alongside with all the Windows anti-cheat that already works. So you just include this file, right? You publish a new build that has this file in it. You literally go onto the website and click a button and then it should work right out of the box just for those three things. And if you go on the easy anti-cheat Epic documentation, which are the people who make Easy Anti-Cheat, they agree with this. So they, they even have a helpful bootstrapper that does a lot of this stuff for you when you start the game up. So, you know, if you have all this stuff and you're running it on Windows, it just ignores it. But if you include this in the published version of your game without changing the executable, without recompiling it, it just allows you to run the game on Linux also alongside Windows. It's, you know, it'll dual boot on both and it works perfectly on the Steam Deck. If you just do these th three small steps. Um, so then they actually give you a link to the client module, how to do that. 
And so if you're a developer, you have developer access keys to this uh, utility website that allows you to publish your builds. And all you need to do is activate the build for Linux. That's it. So you add two files, you add that SO file and you add the bootstrapper, publish the build with those in it. And then you go on this website and you click a button. And the only prerequisite for you doing this is, let's see if we can find it. Uh, you have to have version 1.14 or later. Lost Ark, that uses version 1.33, which is a very recent, I think it's December 2022, version of Easy Anti-Cheat using the Epic Online Store. So they're all set up to do this. They're just not clicking a button. So it looks like what these people are doing on ProtonDB is they're attempting to do this for Lost Ark. So like you saw in the documentation, if Lost Ark developers wanted the Steam Deck Proton Easy Anti-Cheat layer to work, they would have included this .so file in their build along with that bootstrapper. And these players are just trying to do that for them. But like you saw, they have to go and activate that build on Linux because the server side is gonna say, okay, I see that you've connected. I see that your client, which is the installed version on the Steam Deck, is sending information to my server, but I haven't authorized Linux as an activated build on my server, so I'm just going to unauthenticate you and kick you off of the game. And that seems to be what's happening with Lost Ark. So if you're like me, this is almost more confusing now, given all this information. So the only thing that I could suspect as to why Lost Ark specifically hasn't done any of this is that it's some kind of business decision with Amazon games who they publish Lost Ark for the West. It's, I think Lost Ark is a Korean game um, and it's published from some Russian company. I, I don't, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I don't really know much about the international version, but the North American version is published through Amazon. And Amazon, you know, has a lot of competitors and maybe, you know, this is my thought, that they are in the market for something like a Steam Deck and their Luna product, that's, and they think that the Steam Deck's gonna cannibalize it somehow. But the fact that New World exists from the same company that uses anti-cheat, easy anti-cheat, and it runs on the Steam Deck, along with the fact that Lost Ark has a Steam client that you install through Steam, makes this very confusing. So just to recap, Lost Ark has an easy anti-cheat version that allows you to do the three easy steps listed in both Steam and Easy Anti-Cheat's official documentation. It doesn't have to change their executable at all. That they don't have to recompile anything for specifically for Linux. So they add you know two files and then they go onto this site and they click enable and that's it. And they choose not to do that. So uh, if anybody who watches my videos is in the industry uh, or just you know keeps an eye on it and has read any justification officially from Amazon Game Studios why they aren't doing this for Lost Ark, let me know in the comments because this is very strange. Uh, not that the Steam Deck is the largest market share, but it is some market share uh, and people will probably spend money if they installed Lost Ark and played it on the Steam Deck, which is what you know, the makers of Lost Ark and Amazon Game Studio, what they want. So I, I don't really understand this. I, I hope that they see the light. I hope it's not just, you know, some kind of managerial incompetence where they have just put this on the back burner and they don't understand how easy it is to implement it. But yeah, it's, it's all very confusing and hopefully, hopefully it comes to the Steam Deck soon.